we're going to go for it. So if everyone wants to come down onto their mats, this is so exciting. We're going to come to lie down on the floor first. So it's going to be a really nice grounding flow. Um, we'll do about kind of 40, 45 minutes. Um, really nice grounding flow to kind of find that nice sense of support and stability, which I think we all probably need a little bit at the moment. So let's all come down onto our mats. We're going to lie on our backs first. And it probably feels really good for you because it's like what 8 pm with you, 7 a.m. with me. <laughs> um, but just take a moment to lie down on your mat. And just extend the legs out in front of you. Just bring the arms alongside you, just have the palms spaced out. And it's almost like we're just going to start with a little sedation. So just close the eyes. Just let the feet fall out to either side. And we'll just take a few moments here to find this lovely sense of foundation. We're just taking time to feel the earth beneath the back of the head, beneath the spine, beneath the back of the leg. And I truly want you today to find that lovely kind of sense of comfort. We'll just take a couple of lovely big deep breaths to guide us in. So when you're ready, take a really nice big full deep inhale in through the nose. A nice full breath in. And then exhale, just releasing it out through the mouth. Nice, just let everything go. And again, take a really nice big deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale, big exhale through the mouth. Really releasing. Let's do it one more time. So nice big deep inhale in. And then as we exhale, take a nice big sigh out through the mouth. Then just come back to inhaling and exhaling. So really just finding a sense of well-being this evening. Just taking a little time here. I want us to take a little mantra with us through our practice today. And those words are, I am calm. I am grounded. I am calm. And I am back. Just let yourself repeat those words a couple of times in your head. I am calm and I am back. And allow the earth beneath you just to support you here for a moment or two. Very slowly, I'm just going to bring a little bit of movement into the body. A little rock of the head from side to side. Just wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Just bring a little bit of movement into the wrists. And then just take a moment to reach the fingertips all the way above the head. So just reaching out, stretching through the fingertips, stretching through the toes. Ooh, I'm just waking up. And then slowly drawing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a really nice big well with that. Just a little rock from side to side. So we're going to find a really simple twist just to begin. So just bringing the feet down towards the earth. We're just going to bring the arms either into a nice big T-shape if you've got space, or bending at the elbows to create those kind of cactus arms on the floor. And I'm just going to shuffle the hips a little bit towards the right and let the knees just drop over towards the left. So just finding a really simple twist. 
And maybe the gaze just turns over the right shoulder. And we'll just take a couple of breaths here. So I want you just to think about loosening through the jaw. We can always move them out a little bit here. Just finding a little bit of space. Just feel that nice loosening through the spine. Just take a couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, take a nice big inhale in. And as you exhale, just big sigh out as you draw the knees all the way back. Give yourself a little hug in. And then just bring the feet back down towards the earth. We'll just do it on the other side. So take a shuffle of the hips towards the left. Let the knees just drop over towards the right. And again, just extending the arms and bringing the gaze over the left shoulder. Just finding a little twist here. And again, you can just find a little bit of movement through the jaw. It's quite nice. We hold so much tension in our jaw, neck, shoulders. So just making sure we're releasing that. And again, just a couple of breaths. And you can always think about these twists as kind of cleaning out your day, letting go of your day. Let's twist out the day. Maybe closing the eyes. Okay, and then when you're ready, take a nice big inhale in through the nose. As you exhale, sigh up through the mouth, draw the knees back to center. Give yourself a little hug in. And then from here, we're just going to take the hands underneath the thigh. And we're going to give ourselves a few little rock and rolls up and down the spine, just to bring ourselves all the way up to seated. And then we're going to come straight into all fours. So when you're ready, just take the hands underneath the thighs. Maybe find a little bit of joy here as you roll back and forth. So just massaging the spine. And then coming all the way up to your seat, we're going to come straight onto all fours. So you need to bring the legs round to one side, or you can just roll onto the knees and come onto all fours. So coming into our tabletop position. Okay, so we're going to spread the fingers really, really nice and wide. Make sure you're imagining kind of pressing the ground away. So again, you're getting that nice sense of um, support and stability as you draw the energy up through the feet. Knees in line with the hips. We're going to take a nice big inhale in. Belly drops, the heart lifts, and the gaze rises. Nice. As we exhale, we're going to round through the spine. So really nice rounding of the spine as you draw the belly in. Gaze comes to Nice. So as we inhale, the belly drops, the heart lifts, and as we exhale, round through the spine, from the gaze. Just keep going with this a couple more times. So it's quite nice to close the eyes and just really start to kind of feel into the body. You can add in any other little movements that feel good for you today. Maybe a little wiggle from side to side. You can stay in one position longer than the other if it feels nice. Okay, just take a couple more breaths here. Finding that nice ripple, that nice wave running up and down the spine. And then on your next exhale, let's just come back to a place. We're going to find a little puppy pose this morning. So I want you to keep the bottom high in the air. This might work for you unless you've got the dog. And then from here, we're going to reach the fingertips all the way towards the front edge of the mat. Forehead comes down towards the air. We'll just take a couple of breaths. We want to have the tailbone really high towards the sky. And just find that really nice stretch in between the shoulder blades, through the upper arms. And here we can find a little bit of grounding too. So we can spread the fingers nice and wide, press down through the forearms. That's going to create a little bit more of an intense stretch. So if it's too much, then don't worry too much. Nice. 
it's just a couple of breaths. Good feeling. A nice sensation through the shoulders. From here, just slowly coming all the way back to all fours. So we're just going to find our child's pose. So knees really nice and wide, big toes together, and then drawing the bottom back towards the heel. Forehead's coming down towards the earth. We can massage out the forehead a little here just by rolling it from side to side. And just take a moment to feel the earth beneath your hands, beneath the forehead, beneath the tops of your feet. Feel that nice sensation of the shoulder blades drawing apart, so you're creating space. Take another breath here. And then slowly as you inhale, coming all the way back onto the floor. Okay, we're gonna find our first downward facing dog. So whenever you're ready, take your time. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. And take a moment to draw the tailbone up towards the sky. As you can see, I don't actually have a proper mat with me, so I'm using a yoga cam, so I might slip and slide a little bit. Okay, so once you're up in your downward facing dog, we're going to just support ourselves a little bit more here. So if you can, just if you've got a mat with you, just grabbing the edges of the mat and you're using it to really draw the heart back towards the side. So you're just again creating a little bit more space, a little bit more depth in the pose. You can also give yourself a bit of time to kind of have that feet here, so bending one knee, bending the other. Just make sure you're relaxing the head, relaxing the neck. Maybe give it a little nod yes, a little nod no. And then just slowly come to a place of stillness. So you can remove the hands and bring them back about shoulder width apart. Just take a couple of breaths. Spread the fingers like stars. So you really want to be creating that sense of connection to the air. Go through the hands and the feet. So wherever you are, whether you're on the tiptoes, whether the heels are towards the ground, just try to find that nice even weight between hands and feet today. I'm going to take a really nice big deep inhale in here. And then as you exhale, just release it out. Do that again. So nice big deep inhaling through the nose. Nice big exhale through the mouth. Nice big deep inhale. Very slowly, we're going to roll forward into our plank. Maybe I'll show you, but I'm still going to make you do a plank. And then from here, we're going to slowly draw the shoulders in line with the wrist. So in our plank position, we're going to be pressing the ground away, creating that nice sense again of upward energy drawing up through the body. So press up through the heels, squeeze the bottom, squeeze the thighs. You can always drop the knees here if it feels a little bit better for you today. And then dropping the knees down, we're going to come all the way down onto our bed. Releasing knees. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows drawing in towards the side of the body as we find a little bit of cobra here. So just starting with a nice baby cobra to open up the front body. So elbows drawing in, pressing down from the pelvis and tops of the feet, and just lifting the heart and chest as you inhale. As you exhale, slowly releasing all the way down towards the air, or head towards the mat. And again, inhale, elbows drawing back. And as we exhale, slowly releasing it all the way down. Okay, one more time. Elbows drawing back and down. Inhale, maybe you're coming up a little higher. And then as you exhale, slowly releasing it all the way back down. Just going to create a little bit more space. 
So you're going to put your hands out of the edges of your mat. You're going to press the fingertips into the air, elbows drawing forward. We're going to find a little spider cobra. So this just starts to open up and look further to the front body. So as you inhale, as you lift up, think about lifting the heart, the chest, maybe rising a little higher as you come up. So pressing down to the pelvis and chest. Nice, as we exhale, think about whistling back down towards the earth. It's almost like creating a wave. Okay, two more. Inhale. And exhale, lifting it down. One more time. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lifting it down towards the earth. We're going to bring the hands. Back underneath the shoulders. You're going to slowly come up onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and come back to your downward facing dog. So, again, just relaxing the head and neck, tailbone reaching up towards the sky. Take a breath in two. And then from here, we're just going to walk the hands towards the back of the mat. So, walk the hands towards the feet. Take a super nice big fold. So, softening the knees. Releasing the head and neck down. Taking hold of the elbows. You can even give yourself a little shake out. Do whatever you need to do here to kind of just release. And just take a moment to feel that nice stretch. So nice stretch up through the backs of the legs. We're lengthening through the spine, through the torso. Just soften the knees as much as you need to. And then just slowly sway back to center. Just come back to a little place of stillness. So we're going to roll ourselves up really, really slowly. So pressing down to the soles of the feet. And then slowly arm curling up through the spine. So soften the knees, releasing vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way up to stand. Maybe giving the shoulders a really nice big roll back. One big breath out, release the hands, give yourself a little shake. Nice. Okay, so I think I need to get the, the bigger screen so I can see what you're all doing, but it's all good. We're going to come to the front edges of our mat, so make sure you step towards the front edge of your mat. We're going to find our mountain pose, our Tadasana. So which is all we're going to do is lift all ten toes off the mat, and then you're going to see if you can press each and every toe back down into the air. So sometimes take a little bit of a focus of the line. So little toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, big toe, connecting down towards the air. So really connect the feet. And you almost want to feel like you've got four corners of the feet connecting to the ground beneath you. So the big toe, the little toe, and the two back sides of the heel. Nice. Okay, so once we're there, we're really connecting the feet towards the ground, finding that nice stability. And then you're going to draw that awareness up through the body. So it may look like you're just standing here, but we're going to activate each part. So activating the calves, activating the thighs, squeezing the bottoms, so activating those glutes, thinking about the navel drawing towards the spine, softening the shoulders away from the ears, palms facing up just away from the body. And I just want you to close the eyes here for a moment. So really feeling this idea of someone pressing you down through your feet, connecting you to the ground. But also at the same time, I want you to find space and length here. So this idea that someone's got you with a little bit of string, just drawing you up towards the sky through the crown of your head. Soften the shoulders, softening the jaw. Take a breath or two here. Finding this sense of strength, this sense of standing tall. Softly, just opening the eyes. Okay, we're going to soften the knees. We're going to take a nice big inhale in, and the fingertips are going to reach all the way up towards the sky. Nice. As we exhale, let's float the hands all the way down as we hold. So, softening the knees, releasing the head and neck towards the air. As we inhale, finding halfway. So, the fingertips can come to floor, shift or thighs, gaze comes forward, and the heart lifts. And then as we exhale, take that fold, soften the knees, fingertips towards the head. Nice, inhale, fingertips reaching out. 
arms come together, and as we exhale, the hands draw down to the top. So we're going to do that again. So soften the knee, inhale, and exhale, floating the fingertips down as we fall, softening the head and the As we inhale, find that nice halfway point, so finding extension to the spine. And then as we exhale, take a fold, releasing down to the head. Inhale, fingertips to the mouth. Arms come together, and as we exhale, hands reach out to the heart. Do it one more time. So soften the knee, inhale. Exhale, fold, floating the hands down to the feet. Inhale, halfway. And then as we exhale, take a fold. Inhale, think it's a two time. Palms come together, and as we exhale, the hands draw to the feet. Okay, we're going to add in. A little tree pose to see if we can find a sense of balance within this kind of session. So balance to find grounded, find that stability. We're going to press down through the right foot, and then from here, just take the left foot either to the inside of the ankle, the calf, or the thigh. Again, you want to find that nice stability through the right leg. Left foot coming to where it's comfortable, just avoiding the knee. And then just bringing that hand to heart. So you want to be looking forward and then a bit down, finding that sense of drifty, that sense of focus, that single gaze. And just take a couple of breaths. Doesn't matter if you want them. Nice. Okay, from here, slowly as you release the foot. Inhale, fingertips reach all the way up. And then as we exhale, we're going to float that hands down as we fall. So we're basically adding a tree into our little float. As we inhale, halfway. And exhale, fall. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Palms come together. And as we exhale, the hands. Right, so we'll do tree on the other side. So pressing down through the left foot. Again, just bring a little lightness to the right leg. So you can either bring that right foot to the inside of the ankle, the calf, or the thigh, depending on how you're feeling this evening. And make sure you're just pressing down through that standing leg. So really nice and strong through the standing leg, squeezing the bottom to engage those glutes to keep us nice and stable. And then hands just coming to heart center. And again, you can kind of try and look and find that sense of just do that single gaze as we bring the palms together at heart. And just take a couple of breaths here. And if you warm around, that's fine. If you fall over, that's fine. I can see someone doing a really good tree, but I can't quite see who they are. <laughs> so taking one more breath. And then as we inhale, the fingertips reach up, the foot releases. And then as we exhale, let's float the hands down as we fall to the feet. Nice. Inhale, five heart. And exhale, fold and release. Inhale, fingertips reaching up. Palms come together, exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, and again, let's take the left foot, draw it in to the inner calf, the thigh, or the inside of the ankle, finding tree. Hands to heart. Press down through that standing leg. As we inhale, fingertips reach up, the foot releases, and as we exhale, take that palm down to the knee. Inhale, halfway, the heart lifts, and as we exhale, take the palm to the knee. Okay, this time we're going to bring the fingertips to the floor. You're going to take a step back with the left foot, drop the left knee down, and release the left toe. So finding our low lunge. As we inhale, the fingertips reaching up. Just soften through the shoulders. Take a moment maybe to press down through the left foot. So you're finding that little lift up through the body. I imagine you're all smiling here. <laughs> Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, just release the fingertips down to the feet. The left hand's going to stay where it is. Tuck the left foot, lift the left knee. 
And then reaching the right fingertips up towards the sky, we're going to find that beat. So opening up through the top shoulder. Actually, you can always have that back knee down if you feel a little bit there, otherwise, finding space. And then as we exhale, bring the right hand down. We're going to step the right foot back, finding our plank. Really strong. Press the ground away, squeeze the bottom of the thigh. As we exhale, either knees, chest, chin, or lowering yourself down towards the air. Release the toes, try and move with control. As you inhale, the heart lifts, elbows fall back and down. And then as we exhale, release down towards the Nice. From here, pressing onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and downward facing dog. Take three lovely big deep breaths. Again, just relaxing the head, relaxing the neck, spread the fingers wide. Okay, now from here, we're going to take that left foot and we're going to step it in between the hands. We're going to drop the right knee down this time, release the right toes. Inhale, fingertips sweeping up high. It should be quite familiar to you if you've come to classes, I'll give you a bone lunch. So, Thinking about hugging that right thigh forward, pressing down through the left foot, softening through the shoulders. Nice, as we exhale, we're gonna release the hands all the way down. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Right hand stays where it is, left fingertips sweeping up towards the sky. Keep it nice and low so we don't have bottoms and they're sticking up in the air. And then as we exhale, bring that hand down towards the ground. Nice, so we're gonna step that right foot all the way through to the front edge of the mat. As you inhale, let's find halfway, heart lifts. And as we exhale, take the full fingertips. Inhale, fingertips reaching up. Arms come together. As we exhale, hands go down to the front. Okay, we're going to go on the other side. So you're going to press down to the left foot this time. Right foot coming into your tree. So again, just take a couple of breaths, standing nice and tall, relax the shoulders, hands to heart. Find focus here. Okay, so then as we inhale, fingertips reaching all the way up. As we exhale, release the foot, reaching all the way down as we float fingertips towards the floor. Coming into that fold. Inhale, halfway, the heart lifts. And as you exhale, fold. Okay, hands to the floor. Starting with the right foot this time, set the right foot back. Release the right knee, release the right toes. Inhale, fingertips sweeping up, softening through the shoulders. Take a few breaths, hugging that right thigh forward so it's starting to really work into the hip flexors. Again, it's a place where we hold a lot of tension, a lot of emotion, a lot of fear. So let's try and kind of just loosen it up a little bit here. Take one more breath, just soften the shoulder, give yourself as much space as you need. Now, as we exhale, releasing the hands all the way down to the floor. We're going to tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, right hand stays where it is, left fingertips reaching up, so finding that twist again, opening up, drawing that left shoulder back. That's as we exhale, left hand comes down. We're going to step that left foot back and find up. Nice, as we exhale, nice and controlled, either knees, chest and chin, or lowering yourself down towards the floor. Coming through your vinyasa, either cobra or up dog, if it's in your practice. And then tucking the toes, lifting the hips, downward facing you. Again, just take a couple of breaths. Relax the head, relax the neck. Just really feeling this idea that you're connecting to the ground those hands and through the feet. The energy is almost drawing up through the body, through the spine, out through the tail. Okay, from here, you'll see you can take that right foot and step it into the hands, help it through where you need to. Drop the left knee, release the left toes, inhale, fingertips to the top. Take a breath, soften the shoulders, hug the left thigh forward. 
Give yourself space. And then as we exhale, release the hand. We're going to leave the left hand where it is, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Right fingertips reach up as we open up through the top shoulder. Nice. Again, finding that lovely twist, finding that nice opening through that right shoulder. And then as we exhale, the right hand comes up. Nice. From here, we're going to take the left foot and we're going to send it all the way through to the front edge of the mat. Nice. Inhale, find halfway. And exhale, fold. Lovely. Inhale, fingertips reaching all the way up. Palms come together. And as we exhale, the hands draw down the shoulders. We're going to come through a little balance. So, just coming towards the front edge of your mat, we're going to come right onto the tiptoes. I feel like I'm getting an Australian accent from being here. <laughs> we're coming right onto the tiptoes. And then from here, all we're going to do is just lower ourselves down towards the air. So see if you can stay on the tiptoes, bending the knees, engaging the core, having that little bit of control. See if you can bring it all the way down. Okay, and just take a moment. If you're here, that's fine. If you're not, don't worry. Just taking a few moments here. And then I want you to close the eyes. Okay, it's going to throw you off. If you're over balance, if you fall over, it doesn't matter. Just notice how it feels when you close the eyes. And then open them again. Nice. Okay, very slowly, we're just going to release the hands. You're going to lift the hips. Just bring the feet a little bit wider and just come into a super nice big fold. So just softening the head, the neck. As we inhale, we're going to find halfway. And then as we exhale, we're going to take a big step back. We're just going to bring it into our downward facing dog. So just take a step back with one foot and the other. Lifting the hips nice and high. Spread the fingers. Press the ground away. Okay. Take a moment just to walk the feet a little closer together. And then as we inhale, we're going to reach the left toes up towards the Let's give them a nice. Left toes reach up. So find your three legged dog. Keep pressing the ground away so you're not going out through the elbows. Nice. And then as we exhale, we're going to take that left foot and we're going to see if we can step it in between the hands. So help it through if you need to. We're going to ground down through the back foot to about 45 degrees. And then as we inhale, we're going to find our warrior plank. So fingertips reaching up. Pressing down to all four corners of the feet. So front knee in line with that front ankle. Just check that you're grounding down through those feet first. So again, big toe, little toe, two back sides of the heel, connecting with the earth. And you want the body turning towards the front edge of the mat. So the hips, the heart, the shoulders, the head, all in one nice long line. Reaching the fingertips towards the sky, just soften the shoulders a bit. And all these standing postures are really great for connecting to the ground, finding that nice sense of stability. Take a breath or two. Try to soften the shoulders and break the knees. Nice. As we exhale, we're going to switch into our warrior two. So we're going to bring the left fingertips forward, right hand behind. That back foot is turning to 90 degrees. That front knee's getting in line with that front ankle, just softening the shoulders. You might want to take a nice big deep inhale in through the nose here. Maybe shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And then as you exhale, just soften the knees. Take a couple. So I want you to find strength here. Strength all the way through the body, especially through the legs and the feet, those parts of the body that are connecting to the ground beneath. Really. Slowly, we're going to straighten through the front leg. We're going to bring that left foot, turn it towards the long edge of your mat. The hands are going to come behind. We're going to interlace the fingers and draw the shoulder blades together. We're going to move a little bit away from the 
So from here, we're slowly going to fold down towards the end. So hinging from the hips, leading the heart, just let the hands fall a little further over. Yeah, just being nice and opening the shoulders, you can up a little wiggle from side to side. Maybe just take a moment to turn the feet inwards just a little bit. And then when you're ready, just the hands coming down towards the lower back and then fingertips towards the floor. Just give everything a little shake. Just a couple of breaths here. Just taking a little time to breathe. Again, just connecting those feet. Find that sense of stability and foundation. already and we're going to come towards the hips and as we inhale we're going to slowly rise up so see if you can keep that nice flat back as you rise all the way up okay you're going to turn the left foot and bend through the left knee as we come back into the top of the right as we exhale the hand and then you're going to step the foot back as you find your back. Nice. As you exhale, knees, chest, you are lowering yourself down, coming through that vinyasa, whether it be your up dog or your cobra. And then as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down and facing. Just take a couple of breaths. You can breathe out through the mouth at any point that you need to today. It's like a really nice release. Okay, from here as we inhale, we're going to reach the right toes up towards the sky. So find your three-legged dog, toes reaching up and away. Let's take a moment here, spread the fingers, press the ground away. And then as we exhale, take that right foot and step it into the we're going to ground down through the back foot to 45 degrees. And then as we inhale, finding warrior one. So facing towards the front end of your breath again, pressing down through all four corners of the feet. Soft your shoulders. The neck to the ground beneath. So I'm here, softly opening up. So fingertips reaching wide, rounding down through that back foot. Gaze coming over those front fingertips. Warrior two. And again, just take time to find that lovely sense of connection, a lovely sense of strength, both inside and out. Slowly straightening through the front leg, turn that foot towards the long edge of the mat. Just turn the feet in slightly. Hands coming behind, interlace the fingers. Draw the shoulder blades together. And then as we exhale, we're going to fold. So hinging from the hips, leading the heart, just releasing towards the end. Let those hands just fall a little further overhead if you can. A little wiggle out through the shoulders. Slowly reducing the hands. So make your hands towards the lower back first, fingertips towards the floor. Just relax the head and neck. Nice. You need to keep the hands where they are. If you want a little bit of a deep stretch, you can take the two of these fingers, so two of these fingers nearest the thumbs, and you're going to take them around the big toes. So just take a nice big inhale in, elbows draw out, heart drawing back. Couple of breaths wherever you are. And then slowly release. Nice. Okay, from here we're going to come all the way back up. Hands are going to come to the hips. Inhale, rise it up. Nice and slow. We're going to turn that right foot towards the front of the mat. Bend through the right knee. 
reach the fingertips out, finding warrior two. So gazing over those front fingertips. Take one more lovely big deep breath. And then as we exhale, hands coming either side of the front foot. Step it back into your plank, taking it through a vinyasa. So either releasing the knees first or lowering yourself down, finding that control. Inhale, the cobra or up dog. You're coming through your up dog, just the hands and toss the feet on the floor, the shoulders away from the ears, the whole bunch up. And then as we exhale, tuck the toes with the hips, downward facing. Three breaths. Let's just take a really nice big deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale, let's release it out from the mouth. Okay, from here, we're either going to step it towards the front of the mat, or we're going to take a little pop. So, if you can see, having a little bit of a pop of food, we're going to go on that again. We're going to spread the fingers nice and wide. You're going to lift onto the tiptoes by the knees. So lift the hips, look to where you want to go. And maybe take a little hop through. Doesn't have to be big. Have a go. And then slowly coming down onto your bottom. Okay, we're going to release it all the way down towards the mat. Slightly. In true Jenny style, we're going to do it with nice control. Even when you want to go fast with this, we're going to try and slow it down. So we're going to reach the fingertips all the way out in front. And then as we exhale, we're going to round through the spine, chin to chest. We're going to take it super slow all the way. So even when your spine wants to go really, really fast, get that ball. Zip up through centre. See if you can take it down towards the end. And then when you reach the ground, take a really nice big, big sigh out. Just take a moment here, close the eyes, connecting again the feet, the spine, the back of the head to the head. Take a few moments. Take a moment to give yourself a hug in, knees to chest, then we'll rock from side to side, massaging out the spine. Little circles. Someone once called this to me the poor man's massage. <laughs> so you can circle one way, circle the other. And then slowly just releasing the feet towards the air. We're going to find a little bit of bridge. So make sure your feet are about a bit apart and you can just stick on the heel with your fingertips. I think if you could kind of align in a position. So we're going to bring the hands down by our sides, palms facing down. And very nice and simply, we're just going to press down through the feet. And as we inhale, we're going to lift up from the tailbone, hips lifting, peeling the spine off the mat. So if you need that, kind of grab onto the edges of your mat, if that feels good, to give you a bit of support. Or you can interlace the uh, hand on the knee, bring the shoulder blades together, chin to chest. Wherever you are, keep the hips lifted and keep those glutes engaged. You need to start the pose. In the bottom, just to kind of see if it's nice and firm. And then just take a couple of breaths. So, wherever you are, nice opening through the front body. You're really connecting the feet to that nice sense of foundation. Take another breath wherever you are. And slowly releasing the hands. We're going to roll down as slowly as you possibly can. So upper back, middle back, lower back, the base of the spine, just connecting with the air. Take a moment to come all the way down. I want you to feel each and every vertebrae connecting with the ground beneath it. When that lower back really connects with the air, you want you to feel it. You should feel really good. So we're going to pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug in. Thank you so much for coming and getting on your mat this evening. Please 
a lot to me that so many people wanted to join. So I hope um, that you kind of felt like you've moved and breathed and kind of bit okay. We're going to find our happy baby because where would we be without this move? We're going to just bring the knees towards the armpits, take hold of the outside edges of the feet or the ankles. And just give yourself a little rock from side to side. If you go too far and roll over, then all the better. Just enjoy it here, maybe giving yourself a little smile. Much like a happy baby. Just know that you spent a little bit of time today nurturing and nourishing the body. And just coming back to the centre. Take a moment to draw the knees together and give yourself a super nice big big hug. Maybe draw the nose towards the knees, squeeze it to a tiny little ball. And then as we exhale, we're going to release. So let the legs come all the way out in front of you. The arms come down by the sides of the body. And again, just get yourself nice and comfortable as we stay here for a few moments in our So we're going to take a couple of breaths all together to guide you in. So when you're ready, taking a really nice big deep inhale in through the nose. Filling up through the belly, the ribs and the chest. And as you exhale, big sigh out through the mouth. Nice, and again, nice big deep inhale in. And nice big exhale out. Release. This time, as we take that lovely big deep inhale in, draw the breath all the way up through the body. So, really fill everything up. You've got to hold the breath at the top, squeeze the hands to make this stretch the face, squeeze the toes, tense the whole body as you hold it in. And then, as you exhale when you're ready, just release and let it go. Nice, big deep sigh. Nice, let go of your practice here. Allow each and every muscle just to soften. Feel the earth beneath you supporting you here. Lift the back of the head. Beneath each and every vertebrae of the spine. Beneath the back. Feel its support. Take a moment to feel that sense of calm, grounding, peace. Radiate to every single cell in your body. You can stay here for a little bit longer if it feels really good. Or if you want to kind of start to wake yourself up when you're ready. And just another fingers, the toes, the movements, the wrists and the ankles. Just take your time as you reach into a super nice big stretch. So reaching through the fingertips and the toes, and then drawing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug in. A little rock from side to side. And if it feels good, you can take a little roll to the right. Just don't go up in your ball. Just take a moment. You can either you're sitting, you're lying down, or you can bring yourself 
up to C2, very slowly. So just use the hands. Coming to a comfortable seat. Just resting our hands, palms facing down, and the knees over the top. We'll take a moment here just to ground ourselves to end our practice. So keeping the eyes closed, just connecting the sit bones to the earth beneath. Feel that nice anchorage through the lower body. From there, let's take a moment to sit tall. Soften the shoulders a little. your body and mind and a few moments here just to absorb and digest everything I've got a little reading for you today just called one one tree can start a forest one smile can begin a friendship one hand can lift a soul one word can one sunbeam can light the room, and one candle can wipe out the dark. One laugh can help conquer gloom, and one hope can raise your spirit. One life can make a difference, so why not be that one? a really nice big inhale in through the nose. We're going to reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Scoop up all of that lovely balance, that strength, that warmth that you built this evening. The palms come together as we draw the hands down to the sky. I'm just going to take one big releasing exhale just to finish our practice together. So when you're ready, taking a really nice big deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale, big sigh out through the mouth. Sending so much love, positivity, and love to you all. Thank you guys thank you so much for joining me this evening. It means a lot that so many of you got on 